Lesson three intro. First, some vocabulary words. We have like terms. And these are terms that have the same variable part. If you look at our example down here, we have the y term. So they have a y variable. So those would be like terms. <clears throat> and then we have x terms which have both have that x as their variable and then we have constant terms so constants are also like terms and they are terms that have no variable part so they still have the same variable part they just don't have a variable so that makes them the same with no variable So an example of like terms would be we have three apples and we get two more apples. So now we have five apples. So we could express that as 3a plus 2a equals 5a. But if we switch that around and we have three apples plus two bananas, we can't combine that and make it five apple bananas. It would just be three apples plus two bananas, and we would just leave it like that, and we couldn't simplify it any further, and that's okay. So let's practice combining like terms. In our first example, we have 12r plus 5 plus 3r minus 5. So I've got my r terms. We have 12r plus 3r. 12r plus 3r would be 15r. If I have 12 rabbits and I add three more rabbits, I now have 15 rabbits. Then I also have my constants. I have my terms with no variables, 5 and negative 5. So I would do 5 minus 5. 5. Please note I'm taking those signs with the numbers. 5 minus 5 is 0. So now I just do 15r plus 0, which is 15r. Next example, I have negative 3x minus 9 plus 15x. So I have my x term, so I have negative 3x and I have plus 15x. So I'm going to do negative 3x plus 15x. Well, negative 3 plus 15 is 12, and then I keep the x with a number. And then if we look, we still just have a minus 9. There's nothing else that goes with that minus 9, no other like terms with that minus 9. So I just take the 12x add the minus sign onto that term, and that is my final answer. So sometimes our answer is going to be an expression that looks like 12x minus 9. I would like you to try this last problem on your own, and then check in with me in class to make sure that it is correct.